Garrett has fun, just like any other 13-year-old, but expresses himself sometimes in a different way, like, say, when he's apprehensive about being on TV. But that wasn't me. It's the wind that's making the slamming. When Garrett was born, he was pretty calm as a baby. And one thing I noticed probably when he was about nine months old is that he didn't really reach for a lot of things. Garrett wasn't learning to speak. He bit and hit himself, would bite me, out of frustration, out of the lack of, I can't tell you what I need. He was eventually diagnosed with autism. He learned to sit still, and then he picked up a pencil. Yeah, he picked up a pencil. <laughs> and began to draw. Yeah, he was at first just communicating his needs, like I need a drink of water, I need food. Yeah, he'd draw a glass of water, live cereal boxes, books. He'd draw the cover of a movie. And then, once he started drawing... Did, did art change your life? He started talking. In fact, I did. And he started drawing... It was more complex after that. ...to express himself. Just his emotions. For instance, after an argument, Garrett drew this. How he felt in probably the tension of the moment. The teacher wanted him to create a timeline, so that's what he did. I think there's over 200 dinosaurs on this project. That was just what drew him in. Dinosaurs, animals, didn't matter the material. Foam core, poster board, masking tape, clay, hot glue, some spackle. He made it work. Because of the autism, he's able to really hyper-focus in and capture the detail of it and express himself. All right, start rolling it out. He drew. So I can roll it out from the front porch, goes through the hallway to the very back porch. His own zoo. When I was sleeping, I dream of the new unexpected zoo. Oh, look, the blue ring octopus. Oh, my God, <laughs> What's A nailed girl langer. It's the length of our house. He drew a portrait of his little sister. That's it. Screamed out there. He drew sets. They reached the treasure. For movies he imagined. Bob, inside his mouth, gold. These movies just kind of play and play and play in his mind. What do you think's in store for Garrett? In store for Garrett, that's a great question. You have a lot of hopes. This is Garrett's self-portrait. Um, this is kind of where he came from. He started off as an amoeba to a crocodile. As it progressed out, now he's Garrett. <laughs> well, Garrett, however... Garrett's a different man, and Garrett's a surviving guy, surviving autistic kid, trying to survive this life and world. I'm really hoping that he gets to do what he wants to do, which is to work in a museum and to create. Oh, so, so would you create some of the displays? Yes! The ability that autism has given him in the sense of how to focus, how to look at detail, how to create things, that is going to be his gift back to the world.